Hi, my name is Matthew Schuler. I'm an assistant professor in the biology department at Montclair State University. Montclair State University is a diverse place with people from all over the world. It's important to me to promote diversity in the classroom using a few different techniques. Some of the ways that I do that are including them in the conversation, inviting diverse people from all over the world to give lectures or showing students their research in the classroom. By hearing those stories, students are able to figure out potential careers that they could have by relating that information that they hear from those faculty members to their own path. By understanding some of the challenges that they might face, students are probably better equipped to develop a support network that can help them through these challenging times. I also like to evaluate what I'm teaching and make sure that it isn't biased in unforeseen ways. By allowing students to voice their opinions, one thing that they can do is tell me when I might have a biased topic in class. I try to be as inclusive as possible and have an open dialogue at all times. By bringing a student voice forward, that can actually help highlight some issues from around the world that I'm unaware of and that students are more familiar with. So it's very important to actually have a conversation with the students because they can be experts too. It's important when bringing up topics that are diverse and topics that are from a global perspective, not to make assumptions about my knowledge about that system. One of the things that I like to do is talk about environmental issues and environmental problems that they might be facing in different countries. What I don't want to do is make students feel that their country of origin, their home, or their ethnic background is in any way at fault for any of the things that I'm talking about. So instead of pointing blame or talking about how one culture did something inappropriately or how another culture needs to fix what they're doing, I actually have a conversation about cultural appropriation, cultural identity, and how we as a society need to solve problems that are complex together. As a first-generation student and a member of the LGBTQ community, I like to highlight that these are my backgrounds for my students so that they understand that they also have diverse faculty here. Students like to relate to their faculty and have conversations with them. And they like to have somebody that they can go to so that they feel comfortable talking about problems that they're facing. By helping them develop peer-to-peer -peer networks or professional networks, you can actually help students overcome some of these very easily. Once they have these networks in place, students feel much more comfortable just having somebody to talk to, somebody who is open and somebody who is willing to listen and give advice when needed can really help a student move to the next level, whatever that level might be. I often leave my door open so that students can come to me at all times and talk to me about problems they might be facing. They email me, they come to my office, and they find me in the classroom and they ask me questions about my career, how I achieved my goals, and what my goals are for the future. By being open and having conversations with them, I often find that they're willing to share an insight into their lives that helps me grow as a person too. Just to recap some important points, I like to invite speakers from different universities and who have diverse backgrounds to talk to students about how they achieve their research or career goals. By hearing diverse opportunities from diverse backgrounds, students might actually be able to place themselves in that situation and understand how they can achieve their career goals, whether that's going to med school, becoming a professional scientist, becoming a high school teacher, or becoming an academic. Montclair State University is a diverse place with people who are from all over the world. I want to make sure that as a professor, I include their voice in how I teach and how I help students achieve their career goals. Students often like talking about environmental problems. They actually enjoy having the conversation. Instead of just talking about the ways that humans are affecting the environment in those places, I talk about solutions that we could use as a society to solve those problems. By bringing diverse perspectives into the classroom, hopefully students find more comfort in engaging with you as the professor and feel more comfortable talking to you when they face challenges that they might have. Thank you.